let's explore how we can have Visual Studio handle large solutions in a better way by using a new feature called Solution Filters. This was a feature that was introduced in Visual Studio 2019. And so here I have a solution. This is the Productivity Power Tools that you might know, the extension. Uh, and it consists of a bunch of projects. Now, this is by no means uh, as big as a lot of the solutions that we see out in the wild. And you probably have solutions that are bigger than this. But this is the biggest one I've got on my laptop right now. So um, this can take a while to load, right? The bigger the solution, the more has to load when you open it. So let's see if there's something we can do. I'm going to just close the solution. And then I'm going to open it again, but in a special way. So I'm going to find my SLN file right there. And I'm going to click this checkbox that says, Do not load projects. And let's see how fast I can load my solution now. Boom, it's instant. And that's because that none of the projects were loaded. So Visual Studio didn't do anything um, to initialize project systems and so on. And it could just load the solutions really quickly. Um, and the reason you want to do this is because you don't want to work on every single project in your solution. You may just want to work on a couple of projects. And so I want to work on this particular project. So I'm going to right click and say reload project. That's going to load this one project. I'm going to right click again and say load project dependencies. So then it's going to find what other projects in the solution that it depends on and load those as well. In this case, it was just one other project. So now we see that these two are now the only loaded projects. I can go up on the solution node and say, you know, show all files and uncheck that. And now it's only the projects that I care for in this particular case that are loaded and visible to me. So that's really nice. I can very easily uh, work with this. Um, it's a sort of a nice and a clean uh, thing. But the problem is I have to do this exercise every time I open my solution. And um, wouldn't it be nice if I could just right click the solution, go all the way down and say save as solution filter. So it's going to open up a save file dialog here. I'm going to call this column guide was the name of these projects. Dot SLN F. Okay, SLN is the solution file. And we're going to put an F onto that, and that's a solution filter. And save that. So when I save this file, it lives next to the SLN file. That means I can check it into my repo, and it's now available uh, to me and my colleagues. So anyone that just want to work on these two projects, they can open the SLN F file, um, which is the filter. So that means that even though it's a huge solution, it opens super fast, and it's just this subset of projects that gets loaded. Um, and so that's just really nice. And you can have as many of these SLNF files in your repo as you want. So you can have one from the, for the front end team, one for the back end team, you know, however, however you want to slice and dice your huge solution into uh, smaller chunks. So that's solution filters. And of course, we can always go in here, right click and say, you know, just load all the projects again. And it will go ahead and do that. And that might take a little time, right? Because you might have a big project. But you always have the ability to kind of manipulate, go back and forth, change things, uh, modify these filters, and create new ones as you see fit. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you.